Now that you have a basic understanding of sociology, I'd like to talk to you about some careers and job opportunities open to sociologists. If I major in sociology, or double major, what type of job can I find in the future? Before we answer that question, I want to talk a little bit about a myth. Many students believe that the trajectory from college major to career is linear. They believe that if you major in psychology, you'll become a therapist. If you're an art major, you'll become an artist. And if you're an accounting major, you'll become an accountant. What a lot of people don't realize is life is full of ups and downs. There's detours. You turn left, you turn right. Maybe as you're four years into your accounting major at a four-year university, you realize you hate accounting and you want to become a sociologist. Well, the path to becoming a sociologist isn't out of the question. Even if you major in accounting, there's still a possibility that you could become a sociologist. Same thing with psychology. The line is not linear. And I'd like to point out that if you major in psychology, there might be many, many career opportunities open to you, not just therapist. Same thing with an art major. You might major in art, but there's many careers open to an art major. Maybe you can become a curator of a museum. Maybe you can become an event planner. Maybe you can go into marketing or advertising. So just keep this in mind, that the idea that you major in something and become that thing is false. And the idea that there's only one career out there for each major is also false. So what I want you to do as part of your learning module is do some research. I've selected a few occupations that sociology would prepare people for and I want you to find out a little bit about these occupations what types of degree you need what type of experience what it's like to have that job and write a little bit of a paragraph explaining to me the research you did and why you'd consider this occupation. So where do sociologists work? Many sociologists who like statistics and biology and medicine will work at places like the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. So if you want, check out this website. Read what, what it would be like to work at the Center of Disease Control and Prevention. Other sociologists work at the National Institutes of Health. This is a government agency. They do research, medical research, but they're also looking into environmental factors, which sociologists would examine. We have the Bureau of Labor Statistics. If you're interested in the intersection of sociology and economics, this is a great place to work. They do a lot of research on the economy, unemployment, um, but it's very statistical. The FBI has a information services where they go out and they collect data on crime and criminals and guns and um, all sorts of data. A lot of what the FBI is doing is very data intensive, and sociologists focus on data, asking questions, and doing science. The Census Bureau. I have many friends who work at the Census Bureau. The Census Bureau is interested in counting the number of Americans, what types of families they live in, how much money they make, and they crunch these numbers, they create maps, they create charts, and they help politicians and government agencies and citizens gain more information about their communities. I also put websites on there that are created by other organizations, like this one's called BeASocialWorker.org. If you want to learn about becoming a social worker, go to this website, read about social work, read real stories, read um, their code of ethics, go to the National Association of Social Workers, read about what it's like to be a social worker, and then make an informed decision. Another career that sociology would prepare you for is investigative journalism. Investigative journalists use a lot of data. They do a lot of um, research into things. Sometimes it's observation research. Sometimes it's data research. So this is another career. So maybe you could go to Wikipedia and read about becoming an investigative journalist, look at notable exposés. You can look at investigative reporters, awards, bureaus, centers, institutes for investigation. The website that I think you should spend the most time on is on the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The Bureau of Labor Statistics does an analysis of basically every job that's out there.
They look at every job, you name it, put it in their database and say, tell me about that job and it'll tell you about the job. So the one that I have up right now is about human resources and labor relations managers. And I think sociology is a great major if you're thinking about going down this path of human resources. It'll tell you about the nature of the work, training and qualifications and advancement within human resources, what type of education and training you need, certification and advancement. It tells you about the number of jobs that are out there, the job outlook for the career. tells you how much money they make. Any job you want to learn about, go to the Bureau of Labor Statistics and it'll give you data about how much money those people make who have those jobs. So for whatever career might possibly interest you, if there's none that interests you, choose one, do a little research, find out more about that career and then write a paragraph about what you learned and why this might be a good career for you. The last step is to set a goal. If you want to major in sociology, realize that there's a lot of jobs out there open to you. You don't just have to become a sociologist or a professor. You can work for the government. You can work for non-government organizations. You can become a journalist. You could go to human resources. You can go into marketing. You can go into the medical field. And don't forget to shoot for the stars.